there, this is Leslie Stokes, writer and geologist with the Northern Miner, and I'm with the Mining Clips today, downtown Vancouver at the Metal Writers Resource Conference. And I'm here with Dale Ginn, he's VPX of Ontario Resources. And a couple months ago, Ontario just closed a $20 million bot deal financing, which brought Ken Ross in as a partner. And you guys are gearing up for drilling at your uh, at a project in the Urban Beery camp. Correct, yes. Yeah, so uh, maybe you can just give us an idea of what have been the previous results and what, what are you guys thinking this might actually turn into? Sure. Um, we've been drilling steady for the last year and a half. Uh, we're up to four drills turning now. And um, we took uh, a new discovery and basically stretched it out into a, a one and a half kilometer long um, zone or series of zones. And now we've drilled it down to a depth of nearly a, a kilometer. So basically we're dealing with multi-plane, high-grade, um, shear-hosted uh, vein-type deposit. Mm -hmm. uh, we've found up to six zones and we drilled a couple of them now to the, the big dimensions, like 1.2 kilometers by one kilometer deep. Wow, so is it kind of geologically similar to what Osisco is seeing at their windfall deposit? There's similarities, but there's differences as well. Okay. Um, ours is more of a classic uh, vein system, so our contacts are tight and the, and the mineralogy is simple. Mm -hmm. So it, ours is, you'd, you'd say it's more of a classic type of a, of a deposit. Right. And so there's a lot of players in that district. I know I'm always looking at the Newswire and the Urban Berry Camp. Yeah. Um, it's kind of following a big, long structure in Ontario. Yes. So uh, very prolific for gold mineralization. Have you guys been seeing a lot of interest with majors moving in? You said that Kinross just came in. Or is, I know Cisco is obviously poking their head around. What's the feeling in that area? Well, it's, it's, it's a hot area. Mm. Um, but, I mean... It's overlain by uh, overburden nearly everywhere, so there's very little outcrop. And that, oh. that would explain why uh, you know it hasn't been really prospected in the past. Road access has come into the area only within the last 20 years. So you know access and cover are a factor. Um, the, the majors, yeah, they're quite interested because it's new. It hasn't been picked over numerous times in the past and they see the potential for the belt to host a number of large deposits, large new deposits. Yeah, yeah it's such an interesting slice of Canada. Sure. When, you, when you get into the interior of Canada and all the gold potential, yeah. um, it's really an incredible place to work, I'm sure. So for the company, you guys have 60,000 meters of drilling this year. That's a lot of drill holes going in. Yes. Um, what's your financing, like what's your finances look like as a company? Uh, right now we just, we have just under 20 million cash, most of it hard dollars, yeah. so we're in excellent shape uh, for the next uh, big program. This year is 60,000 meters and, and likely a, a repeat or even bigger for next year. Wow. Can we expect to see a resource estimate out of that? When do you think we might be able yeah, to Yeah, next year we need to get a maiden sort of uh, 43101. Right. It'll probably be a mixture of indicated and inferred, but uh, you know, we're confident it'll be meaningful. Excellent. Well, thanks so much, Dale. Thank you. Um, and have a great day at the conference, and I guess see you around. All right. Okay, thanks. thanks.